Hi, I'm Robert, and I'm a customer consultant for chemistry solutions in the DACH region. Today, I would like to show you how to find safety and toxicology data of your compound using Reaxis. Just to give a little bit of context, we are developing a new type of fungicide and need to compile a safety assessment. Nothing has been published on this compound yet. In order to avoid unnecessary testing, we need to apply a read across approach and screen the information coming from structural analogs that likely show similar properties. And this data will help us predict the safety endpoints of our substance. Just to be clear, Reaxis is not a dedicated toxicology database. However, it does contain a vast number of data that can be very relevant for safety and toxicology evaluations. Combined with the powerful structure search capabilities, it is an excellent tool for our read across method. And we will apply this to find safety and toxicology related information of substances that show structural analogies to our compound. We will cover this with just one query where we will run a similarity search to identify structural analogs, then investigate substance records for any relevant properties. We will then link out to safety data sheets and to PubChem for toxicity and safety information. Finally, we will identify substance source documents that are indexed with the relevant keywords. Now let's go to reaccess.com. We can start our search by clicking on draw, which will open the structure editor. And now we can draw our molecule. By default, the search will be performed as drawn. However, we already know that nothing has been published about this molecule, so this search won't retrieve any results. Instead, we need to expand our search to molecules that can differ from ours within certain limits. And the simplest way to do this is to change the search method to similar. Now Reaxis will also consider molecules with varying degrees of similarity. Once we're done drawing, we click on transfer to query and then on find. In this preview, we see how many results we retrieve for the different degrees of similarity from our substance. We can explore all of them, but for the time being, we will go with near and click on view results. It is now up to us to examine the different substances and assess the impact their structural differences may have on the safety profiles. If we decide that a read across is justified, we can explore the substance data in more detail. In physical data, for instance, we find the partition coefficient, which is a relevant safety parameter, and we could report this together with the corresponding article. If we have licensed Reaxis Medicinal Chemistry, we also have access to a very rich and structured bioactivity data set that often contains detailed information on substance toxicity. This patent, for instance, reports a cytotoxic effect of the substance on zebrafish. Reaxis also integrates information from commercial suppliers and the PubChem database, which can both be relevant for safety assessments. We can select any of them by clicking on the drop down menu in the upper right corner. Let's go to commercial substances and then open the list of suppliers. Some of them provide safety data sheets, which you can access directly from this list. Just click on SDS and the safety data sheet will open in a new tab. If we go to PubChem, we find a set of substances that are part of the PubChem library. If we choose identification and related records, we go into PubChem where we can often find safety and toxicity information. And finally, we can screen the literature for the compounds we found in our similarity search and check if there's additional information that could be relevant. From our original list, we can click on the document link up here, and this will take us to all the document records that contain the substance from our list. We can find them under hit substances. To narrow down the results, we can filter by specific keywords that are part of the index terms filter and then select, for instance, toxicity. Now we have a set of documents that include substances that are similar to ours and that discuss toxicity. And this is how you can use Reaxis to gather information from different sources in one go to support your safety assessment.